Greetings and salutations, Internet. Aaron Smith here again. Hoping everybody's having a great weekend and hope everybody's doing it. something uh, fun, productive, and um, uh, something to talk about on Monday. So um, this here is a follow-up to my written blog that I have on um, the Art of War for Aspies.blogspot.com. I uh, just wanted to um, first talk about the spiritual aspect of this uh, of this stuff that I'm talking about. Um, first of all, I am not here to try to preach or um, coerce someone into having a certain kind of belief. Um, I got into a really heated uh, argument uh, over Facebook uh, with a, a group that I belong to about this, about um, worrying about chi or um, chakras or uh, just whatever is considered um, new age hoo-ha as uh, some people say it but um yeah a lot of people are looking for scientific proof as to um, how this stuff works and while I can only go through like the anatomy side of things of saying that yes deep breathing causes uh, better circulation in your body which in turn um, gets better uh, brings better uh, brain receptors to release um, hormones into your from your brain into your body such as dopamine um, there is um like I said before I'm not trying to uh, preach to anybody here this is just what has worked for me um, I know that uh, not everybody is going to um, believe what I believe I know that people have their own uh, certain religious beliefs as to um, how things work and how their body reacts to outside influences and um, I know I'm a psychology major so um, we know that the, the brain can uh, play a lot of tricks on us um, we um, pretty much set our own limits as to what we can do by what we think um, when people say that it's 70% uh, of mental games, that they are not kidding. Um, this is why I say if you want to, if you want to see it, you have to be it first. Um, there's really um, <clears throat> this uh, just this delay of uh, what people do and what they're capable of solely because of uh, the. Um, things they think about that could be holding them back and while some of them are logical a lot of them can be a can be found a certain way to overcome which is um, kinda why I'm here I'm not uh, gonna say follow my program and live exactly like me because um, you're not me I'm not you um, we are all different we have different uh, backgrounds we all have different levels of uh, <clears throat> any ailment that we uh, are uh, dealing with uh, which is why there's a such thing as a spectrum now in autism it's not just um, there's not a certain line of uh, whether you're autistic or not like it was when I was a child so um, that's um this is what works for me um, I could tell you now that um, the way I see um, this chi or this life energy or kundalini or just whatever you want to call it, uh, bioenergetics, um, it feels like for me that um, I might be calm and a little bit uh, reserved on the outside, but inside I just sometimes I can feel like I'm the Tasmanian devil. Um, just everything is going on and it shows up in all sorts of different uh, awkward uh, gestures that I do such as blurting out things I shouldn't be and twitching my face and um, having uh, uncontrollable hand movements and restless leg um, and if you have these things I would uh, totally recommend you uh, try what I do I'm not saying you have to, I'm not saying it's the only way, um, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a um, guide as to exploring other options, hence um, 
the art of war for Aspies, which is um, basically just finding a different strategy to get through life. Um, so that's um, on that. Um, I would love to hear people's feedback on it and how it worked for them and how or what you have done. Uh, that works for you and uh, try and we'll compare notes I would like to hear um, what you do in order to uh, cope with everyday uh, <clears throat> things that um, could be difficult for an Aspie and could be easier for a neurotypical so um, well with that being said I'm uh, promised that I would uh, kind of give you a little bit of a demonstration as to how um, I use what is uh, commonly known as Qigong to uh, help with my um, ailment. Um, so i am uh, got a little setup back here. I'm uh, not on my couch anymore. Uh, it seems to be uh, a lot more uh, illuminated and I can move around a little bit more. Um, I don't have to be just uh, always staring at the camera which kind of made me a bit uncomfortable uh, quite honestly so um, I'm just gonna stand up for a second you can uh, follow me <clears throat> now when I say that it makes me feel just completely restless inside there are many ways that I handle this I mean for one I use this thing and I'll just for about three minutes, uh, 12 uh, rounds. And um, I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm not saying that um, you have to carry this thing around with you because that's darn near impossible. But when I am not able to use this heavy bag, if I just happen to be um, at work or driving or anything else, I um, tend to use a little bit of uh, some just slow, controlled exercises. So I'm going to stand with my uh, feet about shoulder width apart. Let's see if I can get my whole self in this picture. And I'm just going to spread out my fingers. I'm going to bring it right along into my stomach like I'm holding a basketball here. And I'm just going to breathe. I'm going to breathe in for a four count on an inhale. One. And then exhale for a four count. Like I said in the written blog, from here you can start thinking about. Um, visualizing this light that is in your body all this um, just all this uh, movement that's uh, internal to just turn it into either electricity or light or anything you want to imagine Here I'm just going to start spreading my hands apart, kind of collecting this light in between my hands. So the inhale I'm going to bring my hands apart, collect this energy. And on the exhale, I'm going to compress all of that together. Um, you could probably, right now, kind of feel maybe some warmth or some tingling uh, in between your hands. And that's good. That's exactly where we uh, want it to be.
and let this light just go in through your arms. Let it collect up into pretty much your stern. You want to bring your hands up here to kind of guide that. You're more than welcome to. So in the end, I just brought that down to um, my pelvis again, which is known as uh, in Qigong as a dantian. Um, and I wasn't timing that, but um, you of course can uh, at home can more than welcome to uh, get yourself a timer on your phone or just use a uh, kitchen timer. Um, I would like to prefer something that has somewhat of a uh, calming uh, bell sound that you would uh, hear um, you get a temple bell as it's called and um, just do that for about five minutes a day um, just go that um, if you have the uh, ability to of course um, you could always just sit down and uh, practice that uh, meditation or you could just uh, go in your car, which I do, and um, yeah, just uh, start with five minutes. Um, eventually, you could work your way up to ten, and then fifteen, or however long you decide for your practice to be. So <clears throat> now that I'm feeling uh, <laughs> a little bit more calm right now, I'm just going to um, finish off that uh, heavy bag workout that I was doing. Um, hope uh, everyone out there is. Uh, doing great I'd like you to please like favorite share subscribe ask me any questions um, share with me any of experiences you might have with uh, how you might be handling the spectrum or if you have a uh, someone you care about of what you might do uh, for that loved one um, I'm also eventually going to be starting to talk about social situations and uh, relationships for people with uh, Asperger's or on the spectrum. So um, I would just love to uh, get some more information before I start uh, coming on that. So um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, <clears throat> get outside. It's beautiful out there. Uh, just go for a walk. Go on the beach. Uh, it's not blistering hot out. So. Um, just uh, be out there and uh, take care of each other and take care of yourselves, all right? Peace. What do you got?